Ever wondered why some people choose to go vegan while others swear by a carnivorous diet? What are the health implications of these different dietary lifestyles? Could one be better than the other? These questions spark a fascinating debate in the world of nutrition and health, leading us to explore the intricate differences between a carnivorous and vegan diet. The discussion isn't just about personal preference or ethical considerations, but it also delves into the health benefits and potential drawbacks each diet presents. From the abundance of fruits and vegetables in a vegan diet to the nutritional richness of meats in a carnivorous one, each dietary lifestyle has its staunch advocates and critics. As we navigate this discussion, it's crucial to remember that the focus shouldn't just be on individual food items, but overall dietary patterns. In the next few minutes, we'll dive deep into this dietary debate, drawing insights from a fascinating article on precisionnutrition.com. So stay tuned. But before we take the plunge, a quick favor. You see, this channel thrives on your support. Every subscribe, every like, every share helps us grow and continue to bring you content like this. It's like watering a plant, but instead of water, it's your clicks. So, if you're enjoying what you're hearing, why not hit that subscribe button? Maybe give this video a thumbs up? Heck, even share it with your friends if you're feeling generous. Your support means the world to us and we appreciate every like, share, and subscribe. And, to navigate this debate, we first need to understand a few key terms. Let's break them down. First, plant-based. This term is like a big umbrella that covers diets mainly composed of foods derived from plants. These foods include fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, and grains. The trick here is, mainly. A plant-based diet might still include small amounts of meat, dairy, or eggs. Next we have, vegetarian. This is a diet that eliminates meat but can include animal byproducts like eggs and dairy. So, if you're a vegetarian your plate might be filled with veggies but also cheese and an occasional omelet. Then there's, vegan. This is a stricter form of vegetarianism. Vegans not only exclude meat from their diet but also any products derived from animals. This means no dairy, no eggs, and even no honey, which is produced by bees. And finally, we have omnivore. This is a diet that includes both plant and animal products. An omnivorous diet can be highly diverse, including everything from steak to spinach, from chicken to chia seeds. These terms help us categorize the broad spectrum of dietary choices people make. They're not rigid boxes, but rather fluid categories that can adapt and change according to individual needs and preferences. Armed with these definitions, we're ready to dive into the health implications of these diets. So what does science say about these dietary choices? It's a question that's been the subject of countless studies and debates. Let's delve into the research to understand the health implications of a vegan diet compared to a carnivorous diet. Firstly, it's important to understand that our health is not solely determined by one particular food group or type of diet. Instead, it's our overall dietary patterns that matter most. So whether you're vegan or a meat eater, it's crucial to ensure that your diet is balanced and nutritious. Research has consistently shown that plant-based diets, which include vegan diets, are associated with better health indicators. These diets are usually rich in fruits, vegetables, and minimally processed foods, all of which are packed with essential nutrients and antioxidants that our bodies need to function optimally. They're also typically high in fiber which aids digestion and is linked to lower rates of heart disease and certain types of cancer. On the flip side, let's talk about meat. There's no denying that meat is a great source of essential nutrients like protein, iron, and vitamin B12. However, meat consumption, particularly processed and heavily grilled meats, has been linked to certain health risks. Processed meats like sausages, bacon and ham have been classified as carcinogenic by the World Health Organization. Similarly, grilling meat at high temperatures can produce harmful chemicals that may increase the risk of cancer. But it's not all doom and gloom for meat eaters. Some research suggests that the health benefits of reducing meat intake may be small, and that the risks associated with meat consumption are more pronounced in people who consume large quantities of meat and few fruits and vegetables. This brings us back to the importance of a balanced diet and moderation. It's also worth noting that while a plant-based diet can offer many health benefits, it's essential for vegans to ensure they're getting all the nutrients they need. Some nutrients like vitamin B12 and omega-3 fatty acids are more readily available in animal products, so vegans may need to seek out fortified foods or supplements. In conclusion, whether you choose a vegan or carnivorous diet, the key to good health is balance. It's about eating a variety of foods rich in nutrients and avoiding ultra-processed foods as much as possible. 
And of course regular exercise and a healthy lifestyle play a big role too. But remember, the research is not conclusive and moderation appears to be the key. So, in the end it's about making informed choices that suit your lifestyle and health needs. There's no one-size-fits-all answer when it comes to diet. What matters most is that you're nourishing your body with what it needs to stay healthy. So, where does this leave us in the vegan versus carnivore debate? Well, we've ventured through the dietary landscape, dissecting the nuances of vegan and carnivorous diets and the health implications they carry. The key takeaway? It's not about labeling one as superior to the other, but understanding that both can be part of a healthy lifestyle when executed correctly. Remember, the magic lies in balance and moderation. Whether you're a devoted vegan or a staunch meat eater, it's crucial to steer clear from ultra-processed foods and embrace whole, minimally processed ones. Be it a colorful array of vegetables or a lean piece of meat, the emphasis should be on quality, not just the category. Research has shown us that plant-based diets can offer certain health benefits, but it's also shown that meat, particularly when it's not heavily processed or overly grilled, can fit into a well-rounded diet. But here's the clincher. The best diet isn't a one-size-fits-all answer. It hinges on your individual needs, your preferences, and how it melds with your lifestyle. So the next time you find yourself in the middle of a heated vegan versus carnivore debate, remember this. It's not about picking sides, but picking what's right for you. Ultimately, the best diet comes down to your individual needs, preferences, and how it fits into your lifestyle. We hope this discussion has given you some food for thought. It's always fascinating to dive into the world of dietary lifestyles, isn't it? Now we'd love to hear from you. Do you have any thoughts, experiences, or tips you'd like to share? Maybe you've tried both diets and found one that works best for you. Or perhaps you've got a killer vegan recipe that even your carnivorous friends love. Whatever it is, share it in the comments below. Your contributions not only help us but they also enrich our community, enabling us to learn from each other's experiences. And of course, if you found this video helpful or interesting, feel free to hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends and family. It's a small act but it goes a long way in supporting our channel and helping us bring you more content like this. Remember, your health is your wealth. Stay healthy, stay happy.